Hey everyone, so today we're going to be looking at a deadbolt cylinder, but one which uh, you may not see very often because it is a master lock deadbolt cylinder. Uh, now, we're, you're probably already familiar with them from the uh, other videos I've done of their uh, laminated steel padlocks and their solid body padlocks. And you might even have seen them, uh, have seen their name on their luggage locks and all sorts of other things that I've shown you and that you've seen plenty of other places. But this uh, deadbolt cylinder is actually pretty similar to a quick set. Uh, it even uses the same basic keyway. And so we're going to just attack it with this uh, standard tension tool. Just seat it right in there on the edge of the plug. Put a little bit of very light tension on there. We're going to go in there with this flat tipped hook. Just work our way down the keyway. Try to find that first binding pin, which, okay, feels like number two. And number three is a bit stiff. Go all the way to the back. Number five isn't giving us anything. Number four gave us something, but I'm not sure it's what we wanted. That's number two again. There's number one is a little bit more resistance, but not really binding. And there we go. So, as you can see, this may be tough under fire, uh, but it's not really going to be a big challenge to pick. Let's try uh, that nice old heavily abused quick set cylinder. This one actually uh, I got when I replaced some locks for a family member recently. So we're just going to do the same thing, uh, edge of the plug tension tool and just going to reach in there with our flat tipped hook again. Just find those binding pins and just work our way along up and down front to back and back to front. Just feeling for those binding pins and there you go. Guys, these are not uh, these are not pick resistant locks. The quick set does have a couple of security pins in it. The master lock is nothing but standard pins. So, uh, but even even with the security pins, the quick set is not a major challenge. They may be uh, listed as uh, as meeting or exceeding what they call ANSI grade three, but really what that means is that it's gonna take someone with a drill or a hammer a couple of minutes to uh, damage these things, to punch through these things. It's not a rating for uh, pick resistance. It's not a rating for anything but basic brute force resistance. You know, how long it takes someone with a chisel and a hammer uh, or a drill to get through them. So if these are on your house, really think about uh, picking up something and don't ignore the name on it when you're looking at them. Look at the keyway, look at the pinning, look at uh, whether or not they include security pins, then look at the brand name and see if it's something that, if it, and see if it's someone rather that really puts pride into their workmanship and really tries to give you the best uh, workmanship that they can. So, until next time, stay safe, stay legal, and happy picking.